Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode on the survival series. So yeah, today we're just going to get back right into it. And we're going to harvest all of the uh, sugarcane that started growing from last episode. Obviously, last episode I left it off on the point where we kind of um, we kind of got settled a little bit. We explored the local area and we kind of found a ravine nearby. Now, I've packed everything up and you might be wondering why. And also, why well, I have quite so many uh, blocks in my inventory, let's not die to this skeleton. Come on. Bloop. And there we go. Uh, yeah, you might be wondering why I have quite so many items in my inventory, and, you know, specifically more slabs. Uh, we'll harvest this in a sec, but why I'm excited to show you guys is between episodes, obviously, I've been doing a bit of work. And uh, down in the ravine, I've started to kind of excavate it out a little bit. And I think I'm quite happy with the way this has sta started to shape up. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this whole ravine, uh, probably dig it down more as well, and just turn it into a massive base. So I think the first things I want to do is probably get some lighting going in here, because I haven't sorted that out yet. Um, I'm not sure how dark it would probably get, but obviously with my PC it doesn't... Uh, show the light levels correctly. Uh, we'll, we'll light up a little bit just so for the local area there's nothing. Uh, we need to sort out more bread. I don't know how well the farm's done but I can imagine it'll probably sustain us. I mean I, I would say that's pretty well grown. Uh, maybe if we just try and take out the individual bits rather than taking out the whole farm as I've seen quite a lot of it still hasn't grown. Um, and yeah, obviously I don't want to bore you guys, so I'm not going to make this one as long as the previous episode. Uh, obviously I want to still keep some depth to it, um, keep you guys involved. I don't want it to just be a kind of walk along. I want you guys to, you know, see it's more of a let's play. Um, yeah, obviously I, I don't want to do all the dubious kind of tasks, um, such as mining out all those bits in the ravine. I was tempted to do that on camera so you guys were more involved, but I know you guys don't actually want to watch that kind of thing. It's boring, I get it. Um, right, let's let's grab the chest, preferably with the axe, not the pickaxe though. And um, we might get a way of taking half the stuff. Yep, okay, cool. And we can run down and place this in kind of the opening that we've got going. I think what we'll work on is getting a pathway down from up here, maybe designing the, like a starter room. I think even just this little bit here will be enough to get a starter room going. Um, so I'm going to put that on the side for now. Uh, yeah, let's get all of this in here. And then we can look at moving this stuff just to one side. And, of course, we're going to even this wall out. I'd kind of like to keep one flat wall, I guess. Maybe, like, that flat, this flat, and then this can kind of curve around, because I think that will look quite cool. Um, obviously, I tend to build things quite symmetrically normally, and obviously uh, things like the pathway running through my base, that I'm going to keep completely symmetrical. But I would kind of like to uh, design my base using less symmetrical designs um, hence the use of the kind of well it's not really a circle but you can see what I mean the only annoying thing is the way the floor is going to be I think I'm going to have to leave it as is um, and then do I have no I don't okay we're going to have to go back up and grab the other chest uh, yeah obviously the inside of that main bit of flooring I'm going to fill in with oak wood uh, obviously everything in the base is kind of going to be oak wood with like a dark oak coating around the edge. I think that would be pretty cool. Obviously the resource wise it's extremely good for me because we're in a dark oak forest with of course oak. Um, I guess the oak is slightly less abundant and maybe putting that on the inside of everything is going to be um, more challenging I guess to collect enough resources. But obviously I like a challenge, and also I'm not too worried from that aspect. I mean, it's not going to be that that bad a situation. Uh, we're going to need that, and I'm not sure 
if I will need. I'm going to take the cobblestone wall. I'm not sure if I'll need any more planks. I think I should be fine, though. Yeah, we're more than fine. Um, let's get that wall in. I want to see what it looks like. I quite like that. I think I will keep using the wall. And then maybe put some over here. No, I think I think that's that's perfect. I'm I'm really happy with that. Right, let's let's start thinking about how we're going to do this. Um so we're probably gonna want to have chests in the wall. So they're gonna go in along here. And potentially I could have my bed just on like a hammocky style thing. Hold on, I put that on the lower part of the block. I cannot put that on top, can I? Okay. Potentially we could... Okay, we'll grab dark oak and we'll see how it looks if we raise that. Hmm. Maybe that? I'm not sure. It, it kind of looks okay. But it's not quite right. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe if we dig this out. And we just get all of this bit. Sorted. We can kind of. Gauge slightly better what it's going to appear like. Uh, obviously we, <laughs> we need to get this coal out the wall and um, coal's going to be extremely useful to us. Um, right, what if you put that in like that and then put those across there. Yeah, that's alright. I'm not sure what I'm going to do on this end. Perhaps... I think we may have found a winner here. I think I may know what I'm going to do. And then we're going to grab all of these blocks out. Hold on. And then... Potentially just drag this up like that. And then... In here, put it like that. And like... Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe this bit down here. Yeah, I think that will look a lot better. I, I definitely, definitely think that's the best look for it. Um, we're gonna go and grab all of this out as well, because obviously, uh, we're gonna put to make best efficiency of you know how many chests we can slot in. Um, if we pull this out, we can put them in lengthways rather than side by side, and that that would be a lot better. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with the back wall behind, though. Do I just leave it as is? I think I might just leave it as is. Um, if we grab that coal, get this gravel out of the way, and we don't have any more stone, so let's make some more. Um... Right, let's grab ourselves some chests, just so we can get some designing going. See, so yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be like, hmm. No, I need to take this out as well. Uh, where is it? Oh, I've got some wood in my inventory. Potentially, this could be all that we need, I think. Swap that round. And just in here. There we go. I think I might put in the oak, uh, dark oak in these bits. Just because that will allow us to have a more uh, defined wall, I guess. I'm worried that it's going to overload 
with the amount of dark oak. No, I think that's fine. I think... I think we'll uh, be fine like that. And then all we do is we start slotting in the chests. Uh, obviously everything's going to kind of be put all together for now. Um, but, you know, as we progress it will be slightly more uh, sorted. I'll probably do that off camera to be honest. Just because it's kind of a tedious task. Uh, I'm going to turn all of these into chests. There we go. And yeah, we can take all that stuff. Did I why I throw that there? And then that, yeah, there we go. Pick all of that stuff up good. Okay. And then we can just start fixing this up. I think I think that's the best look that we could get going. Um where's all the, yeah, that's all the stuff. We'll just chuck it all in there. And as I say, I will like fix this up into the individual chests, kind of work out where things need to be. Uh, we can sleep. It's kind of good, good timing from me. I wasn't sure what time of day it would be, but uh, you know, it was time to sleep. Um, this bit, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do. <coughs> Don't know why my voice just went then. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, this bit I'm not too sure what I'm going to do. I'm thinking I'm going to match it with the rest of this, which is just going to be a cobblestone um, layer up the top. Obviously, it transitions uh, quite well to the wood of this. Um, you know, obviously, it's very kind of industrial, almost. Uh, I don't know, I just like like the way it's so simple. Yeah, it, it seems to work effectively. Um, right, let's grab more cobble and let's fill this all in. There we go. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to work this out because obviously that's going to be like that. I don't know if this needs some kind of, um, uh, maybe if we do that get some stairs going on how does that look you know what? I, I will go with that I think I think that's what I'm gonna roll with maybe even hmm no I, th I think I'll go with that I think that's quite cool um then obviously this wall I just want to be plain stone <laughs> the gravel is gonna be a right pain to get rid of. Um, hopefully we've even got enough stone to fill this in. I uh, didn't check quite how much I'd be needing right here. Um, 26. Uh, hopefully that'll be enough. If not, we'll just have to wait. It helps if I place it in the right place though. And there we go. Awesome. Uh, maybe if I just get rid of some of this as well, uh, just so we can start to uh, get a better look at this place. Yeah, I'd agree with, like, with the idea that this is kind of how it should be. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, no, real, no real improvements that I can think of straight away. I know it's obviously quite a simple design. Um, it's only, you know, for the start, and as we progress, obviously, we'll drastically improve this place. Um, but yeah, that's basically me set up. Um, I think next thing I'll probably do next episode is, uh, potentially, once I've got enough seeds and bits from this, look to get rid of this and <laughs> start something down in the ravine that's on a much bigger scale, much better. Um... I need to also work out a route to the surface. I might dig something out here so we got, uh, we can build this um, in that space there. But as as I said at the start of the episode, guys, I know you guys don't want to um, don't want to be watching me do all the boring activities in the base. And so I think I will be ending it there for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and if you'd like to see me do anything else in this series. 
or you have any ideas for my redstone guide, then uh, please let me know down in the comment section below. Alright, see ya.